What's going on guys? Shane here. I'm here with my friend Khan and today we're talking about how to enter the clinch against a volume puncher. A guy who's throwing a lot of punches, you can't seem to close off the distance. I'm going to give you a couple of different options of what you can do. This works for MMA, a street fight, and Muay Thai. All right. So again, fighting Khan, he's throwing a ton of punches. I can't seem to get in, right? He's keeping me at the end of his punches. One of my favorite ways is a flying knee. Give him a reason to stop punching. As we do that, we're gonna trap the hands, okay? So we're right outside of the range. I'm gonna stick my hands out to try to get the palms of my hands onto his knuckles, and I'm gonna throw a flying knee just to the torso. It's a great way to, to enter inside range. So I'm here, I trap, and I throw this knee. From here, I can clinch right up, okay? You wanna to try to get your hands on the inside in the clinch. If you're familiar with Muay Thai, you know that's the better position to be in. So I'm gonna do that right then and there. So when I throw this flying knee, I trap the hands same time, I spread out, and then I can go right into my dominant clinch. I can control the bicep, the shoulder, start spinning and working my knees from there. All right, another one is without the flying knee, right? If I can just trap the hands and then work my way to the biceps, if he's trying to throw these hooks and stuff, I control them, I got that steering wheel position now. I can throw my up elbows, I can work my knees. If it's a street fight, I can go to the groin and I can work my sweeps as well. Another one is just utilizing head movement, okay? So if you are a good boxer, you have that good head movement, then I wanna try to time it to get inside, okay? And I can do this from going to the outside or on the inside. So let's say Khan's just working his jab, I can just get to the outside. And then from here I can work bodies, I can clinch up. Okay, so uh, utilizing head movement and that explosive movement in will definitely work. But again, give him a reason to stop punching. So if he can throw a punch while I'm moving in, instead of just ducking my head out and moving in, throw a punch as you do that and step in. All right, so a couple of different ways to do that. Um, trapping the hands, controlling the biceps, using a flying knee, head movement, uh, some great ways to enter uh, inside range or enter the clinch when you're fighting someone. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you get the fight tips before your opponent does. Until then, I'm Shane, and this is Khan, self-defense for the underdogs.